And now, your first alert weather. It's a bit hazy out there with lots of smoke moving over the area from Northern California and other assorted wildfires to our west. The jet stream's kind of flattened out and it's headed straight across towards us and that's why we've got such thick air out there today. It's pretty warm out, nothing like what we saw yesterday. We're about nine degrees short of that high we saw of 100 degrees yesterday in Pocatello, 91 right now, and you'll be impressed as to how cold it's going to get in just a couple of days after we saw that nice warm weather and we're still seeing nice warm weather. 21 mile per hour winds. Those winds are a problem today, especially because we do and have had uh, a few fires around our region as well. We have uh, fire warnings out there that won't expire until tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be even windier than what we're dealing with right now. At least we're not going to be dealing with any sort of thunderstorm activity. The Viper radar is very clear up above all that haze. We're not really even seeing any cloud cover today. We've still got a nice high pressure influence into the area, but that's going to be fading away over the course of the next couple days and we'll see low pressure dip right on into the area by Monday night. We've got an extreme northerly influence. In fact, this is what they call backdoor cold front because it's actually coming at us from the east. That's not so typical, especially not in September. So some impressive cold here on the way. Many of us will experience a frost by Tuesday morning right around here. Things are going to be very cold and then highs are just going to reach around 60 degrees. You'll see it all in the eight day forecast. Fortunately, we will have that high pressure moving in towards the tail end of the week and things will begin to clear up. In the meantime, here is uh, already a freeze watch that's in place for Tuesday morning. Overnight Monday, things are going to get uh, pretty cold out there. The upper Snake River Plain is under watch so far, but even Blackfoot right now, temperatures are already forecasted to dip just below freezing. You'll see it in a moment. The Vipercast indicating that we'll see storms all through Montana by Monday morning into Monday evening. We'll look for some activity throughout eastern Idaho, central Idaho, looking at a few storms as well. The brunt of this storm is still to our east, but we'll still watch for scattered activity here with snow. All that blue indicating snow up into the mountain areas. If we keep more activity through the night Tuesday, it's possible that uh, many of us could see a dusting of snow, but it looks like things are going to fade off into the distance just in time anywhere above 6,000 feet looking for that chance of snow, by the way. That's what we're anticipating so far. Things do clear up towards the midweek and stay pretty clear through the uh, the rest of your eight day forecast. Here's a look at your temperatures for tomorrow. Still decently warm, but much cooler than today. 80s are all we're going to see in Malad Pre and Preston. 86 in McCammon. Jackson will top out at 73. We're looking for upper 70s for the upper Snake River Plain. Just 50s for the National Park. In Central Idaho, looking for 69 is your high in the salmon with 70s scattered through most of central Idaho. Here's Pocatello, 84 tomorrow, 81 in Idaho Falls, but it's got nothing on Tuesday. 60 is all you'll see as a high for Tuesday. And then into your, uh, excuse me, for most of us, we're gonna be worried out of, about a frost Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Pocatello, not quite anticipated to meet those freezing conditions, but still pretty cold, 35 overnight that night before we warm back up towards 80s by the end of the week. Rexburg looking at that same 60 degree forecast for your Tuesday, frost potential for Monday night and Tuesday night before we start to warm up. Blackfoot also seeing that potential for a frost. High winds tomorrow, again, a major emphasis on that. These are gonna be strong enough to cause some damage, so you'll wanna make sure you don't have anything lightweight sitting out in the yard. That'll fly around and cause some problems. 80s on the way by the end of the week for salmon. Frost possible tomorrow night for central Idaho and many of the mountain elevations. S Jackson, not just seeing one frost, but uh, several here. Uh, in fact, about half of your forecast, we're gonna be dipping towards freezing temperatures before we warm up towards next weekend. Linda.